tuning in to another Lingua Musica, where music is the universal language. I'm Joe Kendrick, very happy to be here at Mother and Son Bistro in Asheville, North Carolina, and joined by Kovacs and Polar Bear. We've got Andrew and Nick and Chris from the band in front of their performance at Bell Share this year. How's it going, guys? Doing great. Doing well. Well, tell us a little bit about how you came together, and, and I'm also curious about how you got the name Kovacs and Polar Bear. Obviously, Nick, that's easy enough for you to start off with Kovacs, but how did the Polar Bear come into it? Um, I think the polar bear is just, you know, one, an animal that we had interest in, but uh, mostly it had something to do with tattoo stories and uh, influences of certain uh, poet authors. <laughs> the fondness for a certain story and, yeah. and that had to do with the polar bear. So how long have you been together as a band? Me and Andy started playing like six or seven years ago, and um, we picked Chris up a couple years after that, and we played off the together. Side of the off the side of the road. Literally. <laughs> Quite literally. We played together for about a year, and uh, Joe, who's not here, came in about a year after we'd been playing as a trio, so around six years, I guess. So will Belshire be your biggest gig yet? Definitely one of them. Uh, yeah, probably, yeah. We've been lucky enough to play a bunch of festivals and good shows this year, but we're certainly excited to have Belshire on the list. It's probably one of the biggest things we've ever played. It's awesome. Right. Yeah. Well, great. So I know I've seen your videos on YouTube. Is there any other way to find your music? Through different the social networks, I guess. You know, like there's always links on our website, com. Facebook has links to it. Um, we're on all the things like MySpace, Reverb Nation, and everything, and it's just the general internet way to find music mm -hmm. for a band these days. We also have a couple albums for sale at uh, Harvest Records, and Static Age also has them. And iTunes. And iTunes. Amazon. CD Amazon. Baby. Yeah. All of that jazz. Well, good. Well, you've also got kind of the video angle covered with Joe and the cookie, uh, is it the paper cookie. paper cookie company. So I've seen his videos. I saw him do one of your videos. Can you tell me a little bit about, about how that works? He did that whole thing without telling us anything about it. And <laughs> he really, he asked us to, he's like, you want to shoot a scene at a party? And, and we're like, okay. And the only shot we're in is this the one scene the, where the bear goes to the party and we're there. And we still didn't know what it was about. He just said, I got a video I'm working on with our friend Matt, uh, who filmed the whole thing. And, uh, and then we saw it probably the day before everybody else saw it. And it's awesome. We won that uh, Asheville music video thing with it. And maybe something else. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm glad it worked out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it seemed like everybody's uh, pretty happy with it. Yeah. Cool. Well, any other near-term plans? We've got an album coming out in a couple, couple of months. September-ish. September We're pretty excited about it. It's called Second Sister. It should be pretty good. I, I'm excited about the songs. We worked with Brian, Brian Landrum on this one. Uh, he recorded it in his house, which is an awesome studio. Mm -hmm. Very comfortable. He, Brian has been involved in a lot of stuff in town. He's in Floating Action. Uh, he plays drums with Tyler Ramsey on occasion. He used to play with the Hellsayers. I think he, he recorded the first Hellsayers album. Yeah. And then Dingy on the Gray Eagle. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Eagle that's on right. Gray Eagle that's right. Yeah. So we're we were very fortunate that he he saw us at a show one night and a friend of ours said, Hey, Brian liked your stuff, you should ask him to record your stuff, he's really good and we were like, Okay. <laughs> well that's one of the good things about a town like Asheville is that you can have that sort of cross pollination and it doesn't happen everywhere else. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah. So when you're not gigging and doing music and things, you're kind of adventurers, I gather. You don't <laughs> climb up on mountaintops and things. He climbs a lot. He's Spider-Man, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm into climbing um, and fishing and all that. 
Camping. He camps camping. every weekend. Every weekend. <laughs> we all like to camp, but he's very avid. And, uh, yeah, I'm into out, the outdoors, especially in a place like Asheville, you know. We live in a great place for it. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, thanks for being on the show. Thank you. Okay. I'm Joe Kendrick. Thanks for being with us on Lingua Musica and Kovacs and the Polar Bear. I'm Joe Kendrick, and I'll see you next time.